Okay, could you tell us uh, what's your name and where are you from and what are you doing here? Okay, I'm, my name is Wolfgang Philipp and I'm from Munich and I'm here as an exchange program. We have a partnership with um, a storytelling organization uh, here in Latvia and a storytelling organization in Scotland. And, uh, well, as Helga told you before, uh, we've, um, the first time we met was in Munich in the autumn last year. Uh, we did a lot of, of activities there, got to know each other because we didn't know too much about Latvia and not too much about Scotland either. And uh, in March we, were, we went to Scotland and now we are here for uh, the third part of our visit. And yeah. <laughs> and could you tell us, uh, you, you said you have two parts of this day. And what were you doing on the morning part? Can you tell today? us some, in some sentences? Oh, today that was more the scientific part of it. Okay. Uh, we have the storytelling part that was yesterday at the Open Air muse Museum. We did a Kaylee, as you just noticed, uh, yes. uh, this circle, circle thing, and everybody told a story yesterday. And today that was more the, more the uh, academic approach. Um, our our boss from Germany, he said something about how our club in Germany deals with storytelling, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of different from the way uh, the Scottish people do it. We do it more for the stage, more combined with theater work, and uh, the Scottish people do it more the way you just yeah. witnessed, like sitting in, in a mm -hmm. circle and telling stories, so it's quite different. And that's what they were talking about to, um, today. Oh, yes. But uh, I heard that you said something about Mimic, uh, about your, okay. uh, that you must tell it with fake. How do you? <laughs> I think especially if you don't know the language yes. uh, with storytelling, but you could tell a story without talking too much. Oh, because okay. you can, you can, something can be very sad <laughs> and, and you can just be not, not too happy and, and sometimes you can be very happy and everybody knows what you are talking about because you just, um, and that's what I think is very important. I'm doing a little bit of theater work myself and I think if you can introduce that into storytelling that might be of advantage just to make your the things you invite um, invent uh, more more lively, just to give them color, feeling, and depth. Like. <laughs> yes, and uh, are you first time in Uyghur or in Latvia? Yes. And uh, what have you uh, what have you seen in Riga you like the most, or what have you learned more about Uyghur? Uh I hope that we're gonna learn a little bit more uh, the next days because uh, the last three days was mainly festival yep. and there, there were so many things and so many things to see and, and concerts and you got to go there and there. Yesterday I liked the Open Air Museum very much and I'm looking forward to go to the west of Riga to, to have some nature and woods and um, here I think you got a beautiful old city. Mm -hmm. It's it's really uh, <laughs> you, you you feel at home oh. at once because it's really it's really nice. We've been around yesterday evening and lots of things going on, so I really like it. How many years you tell stories? Mm, stories, I would say about three years only. Mm -hmm. I've do uh, I've done music before and, and theater and and then I met Norbert and Helga <laughs> and uh, joined the storytellers. Oh, and uh, can you give a wish to Latvian folk and Latvian new uh, storytellers? I think. Uh, 
When I look at the festival, it's huge and it's so well organized how you deal with all those the thousands of children and grown-ups and this is so beautifully organized and I, I would say uh, keep the good work going, it's great. And, and the atmosphere is just brilliant, just keep it like that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>